am Elion Dell, I'm the creator and co-founder of Mondoso. In Mondoso, we help small business owners, individuals, and institutions learn how to create and market a website, even if they've never learned these things before and have little money. I'm Robert Kiyosaki, and I'm best known for this book here, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. This is my sweetheart, Kim. I'm Kim Kiyosaki, and I'm the author of Rich Woman, because I love to encourage and educate women about the world of money. And then we're also going to Poland and... Amsterdam as well. So this is all, all going to happen in 2013, and we're really looking forward to it. My name is Les Brown. You have something special. You have greatness within you. If you're ready to take your life to the next level, well, let me share something with you. Always say, you got to be hungry. Yes, indeed. You got to be hungry. People that are hungry are willing to do the things today others won't do. In order to have the things tomorrow others won't have. People that are hungry are willing to invest in themselves. They'll show up to learn techniques and strategies that will give them breakthroughs so they can live their dreams rather than their fears. You were born to win. You have something special. You have greatness within you. Hi, my name is Jerry Robert and I'm just here at a, another hotel I'm in the seminar business and I'm coming to your city. Hey, have you ever thought about writing a book? Seriously, you've probably thought about it for years now. Well, one of the things that I do and that I'm gonna do at the National Achievers Congress is show average ordinary people, people just like you, how they can publish a book and grow rich. So please come see it. But most importantly on this tour, I think the most important reason for that book and everything we're doing is this book here, I believe it came out in 2002 or 2004, you can look at the dates. But anyway, it's Rich Dad's Prophecy, and it's about the biggest economic crash coming. How long have I been talking about this? Oh, probably since about the day we've met, you've been talking about this. And, and actually, we've been preparing for this from pretty much that time, too. We've always been preparing for it, and so a lot of what we're going to talk about is how do you prepare for what's going to come in the next few years and come to you know South Africa and Poland and Amsterdam because it, it uh, is a global it's a global crisis it's a global situation and you got to know what to do when this happens so rich that prophecy predicted that the biggest crash was coming in the year 2016 and like I said I've been working on this with Kim for years and I was just kind of guessing around 2016 you know, you look at the you look at the history. You can track the trends and all this. And my rich dad said it'd be around 2016, but it looks like it's coming true. So what we're saying here, sports fans, what we're going to be talking about in South South Africa, in Poland, as well as Amsterdam, is how you prepare for one of the biggest economic crises the world has ever seen. Because as you know, China's in trouble right now. Japan's in trouble. United States in trouble. Europe's in trouble. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a time to be, you know, hoping and praying our politicians will straighten up the world economy. It's better not. It's better to trust yourself than trust them. So when we're going, when we come into your cities, we'll be talking about what you can do to prepare to do very well. In other words, when the crash comes, many people will become very rich, but unfortunately, many more will become very poor. And we would rather have you be one that becomes very rich, right? And, I'll, and, and for the women, too, you know, they're finding out now that in times of economic crisis or when there's a financial crisis in the family, when there's some type of crisis in the family, it's often times when the woman then steps up and takes charge. So instead of waiting for that time to come, women, let's get started now. And that's what we're going to talk about because there is going to be a lot of opportunity, especially with business and with investing. Um, there's no reason why you shouldn't be a part of that opportunity. So once again, we wrote this book in uh, 2002 or 2004, predicting a big crisis in 2016. And unfortunately, you know, I, I hope I'm wrong, but unfortunately, it looks like I might have been right. So please attend our events in Johannesburg, Poland, as well as Amsterdam, and we'll find out how you prepare for one of the biggest financial crises in the world and how you can make it the best opportunity of your life. So we'll see you then. We encourage you to join us at the National Achievers Congress that's designed to help you to change your life. This is your time, and we're going to help you get a breakthrough. My name is Les Brown. We'll be looking for you. Listen, this is a powerful event. I've taught it to 3 million people all around the world. I work with ordinary entrepreneurs and people who want to increase their income and increase their marketing. Do you know there's nothing as powerful as a book, as a marketing tool? And do you know that you can use a book to attract leads by the hundreds? Instead of you having to find uh, prospects, you make them come to you. 
Once you write a book, you're an author and you're an expert and you're credible. Listen, if you want to increase your business, generate more leads, increase your visibility in the marketplace, if you want to find a way to separate yourself from everybody else who does what you do, you should think about writing a book. And my seminar at the uh, National Achievers Congress will show you eight steps, eight practical steps for average ordinary people on how they can increase their income and their marketing. And seriously, I work with people who are not writer types. I deal with entrepreneurs. In fact, I think many of you have thought about writing a book, and the reason you haven't done it is because you wonder, who am I to write a book? You might be wondering, listen, why uh, would I write a book? There's already 10,000 books on that subject. <laughs> we call that a clue. Listen, if you want to change your whole life, your whole business, you've got to think about writing a book. And yes, ordinary average non-writer types are the people who I'm going to talk to at the National Achievers Congress. You have got to get your ticket now. No, seriously, just think about this. For you to come and to hear our seminar and all of the other great speakers, world-class speakers at the National Achievers Congress, listen, there's not a better investment. And if you want to learn eight steps to publishing success, if you want to find out what's the practical things you could do, I'm going to show you exactly what to do to do that. I'm going to show you which is the best book for you to write. Even if you've never actually sat down and really entertained the idea, I'm going to show you which book is the best book to write. Some of you have more than one book inside of you. There's one book that's more profitable than the other. I'm going to show you how to do that and what to pick uh, for the, your first book. I'm going to show you how to uh, get the right book that will build your income and build your business. I'm going to show you how to get other people, get this, to pay for everything. It costs money to do a book, to publish your own book. I'm going to show you how to get other people to pay for everything. I'm going to give you examples of people who are in the very National Achievers Congress that we're inviting you to come, who are able to make thousands and thousands of dollars before they've written one word. If that's of interest to you, you have got to register right now. I'm going to show you examples of renovators who've used the book for uh, increasing their revenue. I'm going to show you how, to, how ordinary people have used the book to build uh, a, a business with reoccurring income using that book. I'm going to show you how to separate yourself from everybody else uh, who does what you do. Listen, we have to sit down together and get your book out there. And my session at the National Achievers Congress is going to be very practical, it's going to be very funny, and it's going to be very illustrative. The main thing is, I show ordinary people just like you how to publish a book and grow rich. And I want to invite you to come to the National Achievers Congress. We're coming to your city, and it's going to be a blast. Seriously, stop thinking about writing a book, publish it, and grow rich. To talk with you, how can you make a difference and a fortune sharing your advice, your knowledge, your expertise, your life's wisdom with the world? You know, like no other time in history, all these people all around the world are looking for advice and content in how they can get ahead in life, how they can grow their business, how they can do marketing, how they can succeed in any given area you can possibly imagine. How do they be better parents? How do they take more action in their life? How do they accomplish any topic you can possibly fathom? They're looking for it. They're looking for it online. And they're looking for experts and knowledgeable people who can help them. Now, you may or may not be in a place in your life where you say, yeah, well, Brendan, I'm an expert. But the reality is each of us have been on the road of life long enough to be able to turn around and lay in the hand to those who are on the similar path that what you probably already know intrinsically in your own mind, the very things that you're already good at, that you already know how to do, or that you have a deep knowledge in or interest in or passion in, can be something that can be profitable beyond your wildest imaginations. Now, I made my entire career teaching hundreds of thousands of people this. After myself, my own journey, I discovered this. You know, I never thought I'd be some guru or some expert or some guy doing a video like this for you. Let me tell you what. But what happened? years ago, 17 years ago now, when I was in a dramatic car accident, I learned that at the end of our lives, we're all going to ask the same basic questions. You know, we're going to ask, did I live? And we're going to ask, did I love? And we're going to ask, did I matter? 
And I just wanted to tell people that because I thought, you know, if, if this was my experience, if I went through that, maybe I could help other people. Maybe if I've gone through this experience and I learned that those are life's last three questions, I could tell other people with that and they could live their life in such a way that they're happy with the answers at the end. I just wanted to tell people. And you know what people said to me? Well, Brendan, go write a book on it. Be a motivational speaker. Do a seminar. Become a life coach or a consultant. You know, go out there and do some of this online thought leadership or online marketing. I had no idea what they were talking about. But I figured it out. I found a way, and now I've built processes and systems that thousands of my students all around the world, best-selling authors, some of the biggest names on television, some of the biggest names in the media today, now follow and utilize in sharing their own advice, their own voice with the world. And yes, they get paid for it. So this is an opportunity for you to come to this program and learn how do you monetize who you are and what you know? How do you take all that information that you've learned through life and package it into products, programs, content that you can put out online and monetize. How do you take what you already know and promote it so you get paid higher for whatever you are already doing? Because there's one solid fact you cannot escape, that the more you are perceived as an expert, the more people will pay for your knowledge, your advice, your products, or your services. If you are the leader or a one of the leaders in any given field, that people look to you, that they find inspiration from you, that they get content from you, trust me, your income, your ability to reach the masses, your ability to have impact goes up. So that's what I'm gonna teach you about. How do you monetize who you are and what you know? How do you identify what you know that could be or is profitable? How do you go out and create content, find content, summarize content, put it up online, take money for it, make your difference today in this economy? In this economy where in the next few years, over three billion new people will come online. They will be searching for the very things that you search for. They'll be looking for the very things that you are looking for. They will be looking for people like you to help them on their path in life. My argument to you is, well, you can make one heck of a difference if you choose to put your knowledge out there for others. And you can make one heck of an income doing it. My job is to show you how to do that. I look forward to seeing you live. I tell you, everything I've learned in doing this process where I've been able to build seven million dollar plus brands doing it, built an eight figure business in just four years doing this, and have had the blessing of having followers and readers from around the world. Millions of people every single day. Millions of people all around the world who know who I am and what I do, I can't even believe it. I'm from a pretty small town, and I think about the reality of being able to reach so many people, to come from where I am and to meet you, to share anything that I've learned along the way that hopefully can help you. Well, that's a great honor. It's a great privilege. I look forward to seeing you there again live. Until then, every single day of your life, go out there, live fully, love openly, and make your difference today.